Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the top 5 icon packs or themes for your Linux computer. And these packs will work with about every distribution that is out there, but just make sure to check before you install them, and the information will be available on that themes homepage. So let's get started. So before we get started, we have to first install the Unity Tweet tool, which will let us actually install and change the themes on our computer. So if you are running Ubuntu, you want to open up the Software Center and look up Tweet Tool. And of course, if you are running GNOME, you would install the GNOME 3 Tweet Tool. If you're running Unity, which is the default um, Ubuntu desktop environment, you want to install the Unity Tweet Tool. And if you're running XFCE or LXDE, it will be built into the settings. So once it is installed, you are ready to start installing and applying themes. So one thing you kind of have to do when applying a icon theme, select it, and then you actually have to log out or log back in or reboot your system for the icons to fully take place. See, as you can see here at the top, terminal was not themed properly. So you want to just log out and then log back in and the theme will be there. So let's just make sure that works. And you can see that terminal was successfully changed. Okay, so the first theme on this list is Papyrus. And this theme is a very minimalistic and flat icon, icon theme. And it was based off of paper, which is also an excellent material design icon theme. But this theme is a little bit more revised and has a bit more icons and just, in my opinion, looks better. So to install it, go to a web browser and look up Papyrus. And it is spelled with an I and a U. Or actually, Papyrus icon theme would be better. And now you want to click on the Papyrus GitHub page. Now here, you want to scroll down. And if you are running Ubuntu or any um, distributions that are based off of it, you want to run this. So I'm going to open up my terminal right now. Let's open that up and let's enter in these commands. So first you want to add the PPA here. Enter in your password. And it should add this once you click enter. Then you want to run sudo apt get update. Then finally, you want to run sudo apt get install papyrus icon theme. Enter y. And it should download it and install it. So after Papyrus Icon Theme is installed, then you want to open up the Unity Tweet tool. You can close out of the terminal. Click on Icons, which is located on the second option, and select Papyrus. Now if you're running a stock Ubuntu theme, you can choose from Papyrus, Dark, or Light. Now Light won't look good on the stock theme, so you might want to change it to dark to complement the dark window bar here, or taskbar, I guess, so that the icons will show up. And if, of course, if you're running a different desktop environment, just play around with these three different icon themes to see which one looks the best. And on the side here, you can see that the icons changed. So next up on the list of icon themes is going to be Vivacious Colors. Now this is not necessarily a flat theme, but it sure does look really good. So you want to look up Vivacious Colors 
icon theme in a web browser and click on the link that is on the URL Rayfinity. That is the developer. And here it will show you instructions to install it. So scroll down. Get out of the way. Um, keep scrolling all the way to the bottom until you reach a section where it says install the theme via our PPA or download packages or TARS. Now, on the download section, you will have the DEB or Debian files here for Ubuntu based systems and Debian. Below that, you have Arch Linux, and then you have Fedora, and this is for any other distro. So I'm on Ubuntu, so I'm going to use the PPA, which is the easiest way to do it. So just copy this, open up terminal. And now, this theme also comes with an optional 10 more folder colors. So if you want that, you can add that in as well. But that just takes up more space. And if you don't want to use it, you don't have to download it. And then run sudo apt get update. So after apt has finished updating your package sources, you want to run this final command down here. And this will actually install it for you. Now this might take a while because it's a lot of icons. Okay, so it is finished installing, so I'm going to close out of these applications and open up the tweak tool, navigate over to icons and select vivacious colors. Now this actually also installed a bunch of other different icon packs. You have your regular one, dark one, and then the full, which I don't uh, exactly understand. And there are loads of them. There's blue, purple, all the different colors you can think of. So you get a full suite here, and you can customize it to your heart's liking. Excellent. So now the third icon pack on this list is Uniform. So to install it, again, hop over to your web browser. Look up Uniform icon pack. So these icons are a little different. Here's a picture of them in that they are kind of ovalish. They're not exactly circular, but they are nice and flat and very appealing. So let's go over to the Deviant Art page. Now this icon pack is still very new. It's only 109 icons so far, but you still get a nice package here. So you want to download the zip here on the side. Just save that file. And now once it's downloaded, you want to open it up and extract it to a different folder. So let's just extract it here. Show the files. And you can close out of these other things here. And I'm just going to delete that other one. So you have uniform here. And now here, you want to copy this whole uh, folder here and move it to your icons directory in your slash user slash share folder. So to do that, you have to do it sudo because you're moving it to a root folder. sudo cp-r, which means it'll copy it recursively, meaning that it'll copy the whole folder. And cp-r uniform space slash user slash share slash icons enter your root password and it will copy so once it's done copying you can go over to your tweak tool and it should appear under icons so let's go here and good we have uniform right here and everything changed there so yep it has that kind of irregular circle shape but it's very nice so this fourth icon pack is a very popular one and has been around for a while. It is called Numic Circle. So to install it, go to Numic, just look up Numic Circle. Up, Circle. And you want to click on the GitHub page to the Numic Circle. Now you have your distro specific commands here, Ubuntu here, Fedora here, and then more Arch Linux packages here. 
I'm running Ubuntu, so let's open up the terminal and run these commands. Now there also is a square variant to this um, icon pack, but I prefer the circle one. And of course, if you want the square one, you could just look it up. It will be similar to this. Okay, finally we run sudo apt get install numix icon theme circle. And if you want the square one, you can just change this to numix icon theme, I believe, without the circle part. Now this icon theme is actually a very full one, and it includes a large variety of different icons. So there will be very little missing app icons here. Okay, good. Same protocol, let's open up the tweet tool. Can close out of these, we don't need them anymore. And change to, let's see, or is it new mix circle? And there we are. So the last but not least best icon pack on this list is love. Or I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I think it's love. <laughs> Man, love is a improvi improvised version of Flatter, which is another very popular and flat icon pack, and it basically just contains improved and improvised icons. So to install it, go over to the GitHub page. It's this right here, and it actually comes with two different ones, Love and Love Dark, and you can choose which one you want between those. So to install it, let's click Clone or Download over here, Download Zip, save that file, and then now you want to extract it to a different folder. Now here, you can open up the Love Icon Theme Master, and I recommend changing the names of these to the U without the little two dots at the top, just to make it easier for the system to understand what it is. And once you're here, you want to open a terminal right here. And again, just like the uniform icon pack that I reviewed earlier in the video, you want to do sudo, sudo cp-r love and then slash user slash share slash icons and you can also do the same with love dark and now with love dark you actually have to since it has a space you have to add a backslash space and then dark and that will let the system understand that you have a space in the middle of love and dark hit enter and everything should be there Let's close out of this and, no surprise, let's open up the Tweak tool and go to Icons and you have to see the both here and change it to whatever one you want. And there you have it. Excellent. So here are some screenshots of each of the themes applied on Ubuntu with the Unity desktop environment. Okay everyone, that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Hopefully you will apply some of these themes on your system to make it just a little bit more fun and easier to look at and use. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome Linux app reviews, customization, and distribution reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.